Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's up, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, talking recruiting, giving you guys some tips. Today's tip is to answer all communication with college coaches promptly, okay? Sounds really simple, right? I know players, parents probably like, ah, no kidding. Thank you for the advice. Here's the thing. You, this happens way more often than you would expect. Players not getting back to college coaches quickly, taking forever. Some not getting back to college coaches at all. And it's mind-blowing, but I've seen it happen all the time. I'll give you a couple examples. This happens right here. This is Zach's story. Be talking to a college coach. Either they'll call me up or I'm at a game, before the game, after the game, talking. And they'll say, uh, you know, we'll be talking about a player, and they'll say, man, I really like him. He's, he's got a chance to be really good, or he's a dude, or whatever. But he's not interested. And I'm like, what do you mean he's not interested? He's very, very interested. Why do you say he's not interested? And they'll say, oh, I called him last week, called him a couple times, and um, shot him a text. I haven't heard back from him. And I'm like, really? It's strange. I was talking to him at the game, and he's really interested all right let me let me figure out what the hell's going on and i'll go talk to them and i'll say hey man what did uh did so-and-so school call you coach call you and he's like oh yeah coach yeah i i I, uh, I saw that i had a couple missed calls from him and uh i i'm gonna get back to him i'll get back to him i just you know i've been super busy this week i've had a lot of homework and you know i had a big you know final exam i was studying for and you know we had practice and so um, I just haven't had a chance to get back to them yet. And I'm like, what? Like, you, you had a test and you had practice? <laughs> you didn't, didn't get back to the coach? <laughs> Excuse me? It takes five minutes to get back to the coach. Get on the phone and call him back. <laughs> so, this, and this happens more than you would think. This actually happens. Quick story. We had a player great player a while back oh this is what going a ways back where I kept getting this is a great player talking to really 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 good schools and continually I would hear from coaches yeah I can't get a hold of them can't get a hold of them. not call me back not you know he just must not be interested and I'd be talking to a player and he'd be super interested but he didn't want to call anybody back he just wouldn't call people back <laughs> And these are like head coaches at major, major, major colleges. And what happens sometimes, and, and first of all, I understand, like, we're talking with kids, and sometimes we're talking about really young kids, okay? And, you know, they got a big Fortnite freaking battle going on, and they're just not used to, they're not used to having to call, call people back, right? Everyone's, like, Snapchatting their friends. I don't know what people, what kids do nowadays, but they're Snapchatting and, and all this stuff, and so when someone actually gives them a phone call, they're like, "Phone call? Like, what's a phone call? Like, ah, how, do I, how do I do this? How do I how do I call this person back?" So that happens sometimes. The other thing is, some some kids just don't like talking on the phone, right? Especially to like a to a, a really big college coach. You know, maybe it's a little intimidating. Some players just don't feel comfortable doing it, and I understand that. But you got to do it. That's all I tell the guys. You got to do it. You got to pick up the phone and you got to call and you got to, who cares what you say? Who cares if you feel a little bit nervous or you say something that you think is a little bit silly? Who really cares? College coaches do not expect you to be great on the telephone, right? You don't have to be, you don't have to take a public speaking course to call somebody back and talk. And that's okay if you're not great on the phone, right? And you're a little bit nervous. Who cares? But if you're just genuine and you just call and talk, I know everyone can talk because I talk to to players all the time and see guys talking to their friends all the time. You can talk to somebody, all right? So don't be nervous. Just it's part of the process and that's the easiest way I can put it is you got to do it. And if you feel really comfortable, then practice. Get on the phone and listen, the more you do it, the easier it's going to become. So you may not like it, but you're, you'll, and you may feel like you're just terrible at it, but 
if you just get on the phone and just start talking, I guarantee after a little bit, you're going to be fine with it, all right? You'll be really, really comfortable. And you just have to understand, it's like one of those things where you just got to suck it up and do it. You just, it's, it's part of the process. Don't text the coach back. Don't just try to email them and definitely don't have mom or dad call the coach back, but you got to just get on the phone and call, okay? So the example I'm giving here obviously is phone calls, but this is for any form of communication. Email, you've got to stay on top of your email, okay? Text, some coaches will text. That's usually a little bit easier for players because they're used to you know texting and Snapchatting and all those things. But, but phone calls are another part of it. You've got to stay on top of, of your phone calls. You've got to really treat it like literally like a business. I know it's strange for a young player, but this is like this is a big part of the of the, the recruiting process. It's a, it's one of the biggest parts. Is you have to be able to communicate. College coaches have to know what you're thinking. Okay, and so you've got to be able to do it. And if you're a parent, I get asked a lot from parents like, "How do you know? What do I do?" We've made videos on the parents' role in this in the recruiting process. But this is one of the parts where you can kind of help, just making sure that your your son or your daughter is just staying on top of the communication, right? And obviously, without driving them crazy, I know some parents will be asking them every ten seconds, "You come back, you come back, you come back," but check in every once in a while and just say, you know, did you get any phone calls? Have you made sure that you've gotten back to these coaches? Have you answered your emails? Have you checked your emails? Right? And as a parent, maybe you want to go in and check sometimes. Don't answer. Don't write back. Just check. <laughs> and make sure that everything's being answered in a timely fashion. It's getting answered on time and quickly. Okay? Because if you don't, let's go back to the players again. If you're not answering on time and promptly, well, then coaches are going to take that as he's not interested. Or he's just a total disaster, and I'm going to be really nervous about him being on campus because he's going to have to go to class, and he's going to have to get himself out of bed, and he's going to have to pass. And, you know, you could do all those things really well, but if you can't answer a phone call and you can't call somebody back, then all of a sudden coaches start thinking, well, what else can he do? Right? So you're not going to show up to pray. To, 7 a.m. practice because he can't get out of bed. Like they just start thinking about all these different things. Okay, so long, long-winded story there to tell you: answer your stuff on time. Okay, be professional, be a big boy, and do it. You got to do it. All right. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Give that thumbs up. All that good stuff. Really appreciate it. Check out the description box below. We've got a deal going on Plate Crate. Click the link. Type in Antonelli. Get 50% off your first Plate Crate. Also have a link to our Patreon page where you can help support the channel. We'd really appreciate that. And we've got a bunch of other stuff as well. So definitely go and check all that stuff out. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.